Christmas break. No class, no teachers, no homework, no school. And the gym is wide open. I'm back in town from traveling. Probably more than I should, but the blessings have definitely been pouring down. I got more than I can ask for, so I always try to make sure I take care of my little bro. I was destroying <laughs> Hill with AD. I was on the AD was giving him buckets. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank here, you little bro. Hey, you got taller. Do you got Xbox One? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, 2K. Oh. You have this already? Huh? You have this No, I don't. I swear I don't. I swear I got mad. I swear I don't. <laughs> right up. Here, you want this too? Hmm, thank you. 2K Jack. Record wise. I play 2K. There's some good players in the gym today. Tons of college letters and a handful of college offers. I want to share the stories I have with each of them one video at a time. We'll start with James Chun because he's been the hardest for me to train. I loved him, but I couldn't stand him. He was family. To be real, I don't think he's built for this. A bad example for the others. James Chun, my annoying little brother. When I started working out with James, I sort of knew he wasn't a natural. He was pretty awkward. He couldn't shoot. My thing is, where can you play if you're built like this and can't shoot? Nowhere. We played once just to see where he was really at. I let him get his confidence up, then I took it all away. Normally when I play once for the first time against a kid, I talk a lot of trash to him. I do it to see what they're made of inside. You could just tell that James didn't know how to deal with what I was throwing at him because he lost confidence and caught an attitude. He didn't have to say a word. The more I scored, the more I could see it. Fast forward, they put him on a freshman team, which he wasn't happy about. Was he good enough to play varsity? Maybe garbage minutes. But it was his attitude that was on the freshman level. See, he didn't understand how to play for his team. Didn't understand the correct pass to make. And as the skills improved in the workouts, he didn't get better at being a person. So it rarely showed up in games. I've always told him, respect your friends, your parents, your coaches, and they'll show up on the court. But when you tell somebody at this age, they don't get it. When someone scores, you're the only person not clapping. These are signs of not only a selfish player, but a selfish person. Character is revealed as soon as you're tested. It never fails. It's undefeated. I got a feeling that some of you guys watching really need to hear this. James looked around and noticed that traveling teams didn't want him. His teammates didn't mess with him, and colleges weren't interested in him. And that's when he decided to open up for change in the senior year. I kid you not, the second that he decided to be more of a team player, started playing harder, became a shooter, taking more open shots and less contested shots, he began getting college offers. Were they ones he dreamed of? No. But it was progress nonetheless. So now in the present, he's began to turn it around. He's been setting three-point records at his high school and averaging lots of points, which caused him to be denied full court in most games. To be honest, James used to be the example of who not to be, from his attitude to his play on the court. But his work ethic from day one was never in question. And he's almost to the point where I could use him as a huge testimony. Through all the bad habits he has to this day, I'm proud of my little brother for beginning to change himself, not only as a basketball player, but as a person. <laughs> Oh, 
play. James was blessed with two hardworking parents who have become close with over time. They provided a great life for him in San Francisco, and I don't think he really understands how fortunate he is. They raised a smart kid though, 4.0 pretty much all of his life. It's not that he was born smart, it has nothing to do with him being half Asian, he just works for it. He was raised as an only child, being the only child has its benefits, but it can also affect how you interact with people in the team environment. I've seen how it affects James on the court. It's not anyone's fault that he's the only child. It's just a situation. I was raised pretty much the same way. Learning how to put we before I can be a tough thing to get, and we learn it in different ways. Last year I played selfish, like just straight up. I was trying to get buckets, and I, I, I was not a bucket. <laughs> I thought it was going to be just me, but the league thought it was going to be just me as well. So they game plan for that, and I had no answer for that. We, I think we went 8-18, eight and 18, and so far this year we're 10-2. and two. We, So we won more games than 12 games already than we won last year. But this year, obviously Jelani stepped up, he's playing good. And we just play the right way, I feel like. I call for ball screens and I try to operate off those. And then when I don't have something, like knowing that getting someone else open is going to get me more open too. Because when other people start hitting shots, it's like teams start to scramble and think like, uh-oh. like. We're supposed to just stop one guy, but now everyone else is scoring, so. And then when, when players come at me, like, the coaches are obviously telling them, don't let them shoot. So now that I'm starting to get a pump fake, people are jumping after everything, because when you, when someone tells you, or he, sometimes coaches are even like, don't let him get an attempt. So if someone even gets an attempt, if you see him going to shoot, you're gonna wanna close out super hard and jump, probably jump at the ball, because you don't want him to get an attempt. And if he gets the attempt and makes it, you're coming out right away. I think the biggest difference is being unselfish and trying to win rather than trying to get buckets. And I think Deb taught me, like, you can be selfish and not really know it. Sometimes you may not know it, you'll be trying to cover it from yourself. But there's, like, if the people that are close to you, they can see it. Last year he wasn't talking like this. But talking and doing are two totally different things. There's players that I train that I know are going to go off every game. And then there's guys that just kind of show up every now and then. James has a tendency to go backwards when he gets frustrated. When teams start denying him and he's not getting those open looks, he either starts jacking up shots or he's patient. He's coming off a bad game. He started off forcing shots because they were playing him tight, which affected his confidence during the moments he got open. Shooters are going to make shots. And shooters are going to miss shots. But a sniper is patient and waits for the right time to strike. He's not there yet. But the good thing about the middle of the season, there's always another game to make up for it. Basketball can be an easy game, but some players need to learn that sometimes less is more, especially on a team that shares the ball. 
I personally don't believe that James is capable of something other players I train are, which is okay. But you have to learn to simplify the game in that case, because most players who are gifted with athleticism depend primarily on that. James is on a team that isn't naturally gifted, so if they don't play together, they lose. The relationship that I've built with James and Jelani on and off the court is good because they respond well when I yell at them on the sidelines. It's good and bad because sometimes they don't make the adjustments on the fly when I'm not there. I always tell James to use your shot as a weapon for the team, not just himself. Space the floor and don't hawk the ball because that allows others to develop. Things like that. Today I thought they both did a good job at it. They played together as a unit, but the real tests are yet to come. They won the day, which is most important. But who knows if it'll all hold up, because the WCAO has some good teams and some really good players. And Lil Darion is one of them. We'll check up on him in the next video.